In previous videos, compare match and overflow entrops of timer 1 were presented. In this video, input capture interrupt generated by timer 1 is explained and demonstrated. Input capture in microcontrollers is the capability to capture the time of an external event. One useful application would be to measure the signal period and therefore the signal frequency. The capture can happen on a rising edge or on a falling edge as shown in this diagram. The input capture capability within the Arduino controller is available in timer 1 and the signal to be captured must be fed into digital pin 8 here which is pin ICP1 which is input capture pin for timer 1. Let's see how input capture interrupt works in timer 1. During the count up of timer 1, if there was a rising edge or a falling edge at pin ICP1, then this count value will be stored in this register ICR1, which is the input capture register 1. Next, input capture interrupt occurs and this ISR is called and the code within is executed. Timer 1 resumes its count until we get another input capture signal through pin ICP1. This count value is then stored into register ICR1 replacing the previous value. An input capture interrupt occurs and this ISR is executed and the process is repeated. Next we need to program our timer 1 registers starting with the TCCR1B register. We choose the prescalar value 1024 and we need to program these two bits here. This one is the input capture noise cancel bit so if it's set to 1 it means it's enabled, 0 means disabled. In our example we will enable it. And this bit here is the input capture edge select. 1 means rising edge, 0 means falling edge. In our case we have chosen 1, rising edge. Next we need to program this register, the timer interrupt mask register for timer 1, by setting this bit here, which will enable the input capture interrupt capability. And the C++ statement is shown here. This is the setup used to demonstrate input capture interrupt. We have a push button connected to pin D8. Every time we press a button the interrupt occurs. And the count value from the timer 1 register will be displayed on this OLED screen. Keep in mind that the count value will be between 0 and 65535. Within the setup function, we need to program timer 1 for input capture interrupt. First, we need to disable global interrupts. Initialize timer 1. Then set the scalar, prescalar value to 1024 and uh, we have rising edge and noise cancelling. Then we need to enable input capture interrupt. Then we need to initialize timer counter register. And then enable the global interrupts. When the interrupt occurs, this ISR is called and this statement is executed, which copies the value in input capture register for timer 1 inside a variable called input capture. And then this value is displayed on the OLED screen. Now for a quick demo, every time the push button is pressed, the count value from timer 1 is displayed on the OLED screen and this value is between 0 and 65,535. In my next video, I will use input capture feature in Arduino to compute and display the frequency of an input clock signal. Thank you for watching.